Hello everybody, it's Val and Rami here, and I've been joined by my very special friend, Mr. George Dogs here. How are you, mate? Good, how are you, Val and I'm very well, thank you much for asking, it's very nice of you. Um, and congratulations on your win out there in the Indian Ocean last week. Yeah, thank you very much. We were out there ourselves, you know, a couple of weeks ago at that Heritage Resort. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, it looks like you've got a nice uh, effort going for the... Well, that's what happened. I went, in, I went in the sea, I've normally got a skinhead. But, uh, <laughs> came out of the sea and then high winds, I've gone, poof, like that, yeah, I've got, I thought I'd keep it though. Yeah, it's very sexy. Yeah, I look like that Colombian footballer, right? Yeah, well, no, I don't know, but uh, I guess you do. Valderrama. <laughs> yeah, it works for golf and a bit of football, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What would you think if you met yourself at a party? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be quite impressed. I'd ask you for my number, but uh, it'd be a bit weird. Well, even if you were a bloke. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. You could, you could be getting yourself in a bit of trouble, yeah? I would be thinking, why are all these hot girls hanging around me? Well, you're a successful young man from the South <laughs> Africans. Yeah, how do you pronounce your, your, uh, your surname? Um, not like the Americans, I suppose. Uh, it would be Kutsia. Chop suey. <laughs> Mr. Chop suey. Yeah, David Thomas always said I sound like a Mexican drug lord. Uh, Jorge <laughs> Bowtie Cortez. That's very nice. You watch Breaking Bad? Uh, no, but I've watched one or two episodes. Yeah, there's a lot of that crystal meth going on there. You don't want to get involved with that, mate. No, no. It's not good for you. Uh, ask my high school teacher if he can help out. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of money to made there, but let's not go into that. It's a, it's, a, it's a spiral of decay for us. We don't want to go there. <laughs> if a child refuses to sleep during nap time, is he guilty of resisting arrest? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it seems I'm a bit slow. <laughs> yes, he is. He is, isn't he? Yes, definitely. Yeah, you're going to kick around here for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can animals commit suicide? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because you, you, they'd have to be depressed, we'll say, first, wouldn't they? Do they get depressed? I don't know. I would be depressed. I would be depressed if I was an animal. Why is that then? I don't know. The, the, there's no hot girls in the kingdom. You know, there's no bikinis. Uh, everything's just out in the open. There's well, no yeah, surprises. If you're a hot ferret, you're going to attract uh, other ferrets, aren't you? <laughs> but I, I don't like ferrets. <laughs> no, you don't fancy ferrets. <laughs> no, I like chicks. You ever had a, uh, you ever, ever had a ferret up your trousers? <laughs> <laughs> no, would you just stay by the table, please? Thank you very much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, would you bungee jump? I actually have. Have you? But I was forced to by my dad when I was young. Your dad? Yes. <laughs> is he a bit of a hard <laughs> taskmaster, is he? Yeah, he's been going through a midlife crisis for the last 40 years. Well, he starts jumping off stuff now, does he? <laughs> no, no, anything extreme. Anything extreme. More like a skydive? No, more like uh, he likes the, 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 the like off-road biking and the flying and all sorts of fancy sports. He's gone mad, isn't he? Yeah, no, but he, he was born that way. Was he? And yeah. Have you got a bit out in you? Yeah, but I, I, I'm a little too clever for him, I think. Uh, I know, like, I'm not afraid of heights, I'm afraid of falling. So bungee jumping is definitely not on my list. Now. Yeah. Can you burp on command? <laughs> no. No? <laughs> not, not very manly, no. Yeah, there's one for me. That's all I can do. I haven't got much, so. Um, okay, if you could have any no. superpower. Hey, what? No, I tried. I couldn't. You, did, you couldn't do it? Give it another go. No, no, not on TV. You're a, three time, you're a three time European tour winner. You can do what you like, mate. <laughs> Yes, but that, this is serious pressure. It is, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. No, you're just making me look bad. Yeah, you're a very nice man. Thank you. <laughs> okay, if you could have any superpower, which one would you have? Mm. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If you watch some movies, invis invincibility wouldn't be bad. Mm -hmm. I'd be quite rich. Um, that might get boring, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. I don't think it would. <laughs> I'd like to be invisible, so I could go in that LET uh, on the tour with ladies' European tours and have a quick look at in the showers, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that out loud. <laughs> yeah. What's the best chat up line you've ever heard? <sighs> you know, when you chat and have a third. Fancy a quick one, love? That's never worked for me. No, no. Yeah. But, uh, screw me if I'm wrong, but it's your name, Alice. Ah. And just hope her name's not Alice. Ah, lucky style, lucky style, very smooth, very smooth in here. Yeah, where were you the first time you had a snog? 
at some guy's house party in a, in a bathtub. In a bathtub? Yeah. Whoa, that'd be kinky. Yeah, the chick was older than me. She didn't want to be seen in public. Blimey. <laughs> if you try to fail but succeed, what have you actually done? You've succeeded in failing. You've succeeded in failing? I don't know. If you tried to fail and succeed, you've succeeded in failing. Who writes this stuff? It's bloody rubbish. Oh, it's bloody complicated. Okay. Who would play you in a movie? Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise, Matt Damon, maybe Matt Damon, I think. Ooh, Benji says a bit of a Matt Damon, do you think yeah. you know Tom Cruise? Oh, look at you. No, 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 I'm not a Tom Cruise, I'm definitely a Matt Damon. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been in a bar fight? Yeah, I've been on the ground in a bar fight and kind of just protected myself from a bunch of hooks. Yeah. But, um, Wasn't with that ground storm, was it? No. <laughs> You're always getting in bar fights, apparently. <laughs> I've never won a bar fight, let's put it that way. No. Okay, could you lend me a fiver? Yes, there are five. Ah, very funny, did you know? <laughs> okay, mate, that's very nice of you, Mr. Kutsia. Or can you. I call you Mr. Jobsui? I don't mind either way. <laughs> yeah, whatever you like. Mate. It's very nice of you, and uh, if you could give me a little ticket on my head, that'd be yeah, marvelous. Yeah. You know? <laughs> One of the most important aspects of great bunker play is simply being able to develop a certain level of trust in the sand. Now, when I'm working with my clients, what we like to do is we like to talk about this idea of feeling 